Scream. Oh my god, this movie. I have so many memories of not just this movie, but the lead up to it. The lead up to Scream and the celebration of it is forever encapsulated in my mind because I remember specifically on the Sci-Fi Channel, they had horror movies running for like a week straight with promos and interviews and everything like that, all hyping up the release of Scream. Because Scream was supposed to be the movie that deconstructed the horror franchise. And that it did. That movie shed a light on the way all of the slasher films operated within a certain formula from basically 1977 all the way up to 1995, the year of its release. The, the celebration for Scream is the first time I ever saw the original Halloween. It's the first time I ever saw Halloween 2. And weirdly, Halloween 3. The movie that bombed in the box office and ironically was better than any of the other sequels. And this is coming from someone who non-ironically likes Halloween number six. Scream was just amazing. It's, I believe, if you really look at it, the last iconic slasher look. When you think of the iconic slashers, you think of Jason, you think of Freddy, you think of Leatherface, you think of Michael Myers, to a degree Chucky. I don't know if you can really count any of the new horror movies that have come out within the last 20-30 years, with the exception of Ghostface, as an iconic look in slasher horror. Unfortunately, Scream's release by shedding a light on these rules also killed the, the slasher franchise. And Scream 2 and 3, they took their shots at sequels and trilogies. We may still be in a stale pool of terrible, terrible, god-awful slasher movies if it wasn't for Scream, so thank God in some ways for that. On the other hand, without Scream, we wouldn't be subjected to so many of the scary movies. So I guess that's a condemnation, except for the first two. They were pretty... they were pretty good. And without them, we may never have Anna Faris. So once again, thanks, Scream! I love this movie. It is filled with quippy dialogue and cool characters, fun scenarios, deconstruction, meta humor, meta narrative. The script written by Kevin Williamson of Dawson's Creek fame is incredible. The direction from Wes Craven is also incredible. The score for this movie, the romantic rendition of um, Don't Fear the Reaper when Sydney and Bobby are starting to get it on a little bit with uh, their little PG-13 relationship. So much about this movie is so memorable to me. And maybe it's because this movie came out and I watched it and grew up with it in a very formative years in the very formative years of my childhood. I mean, sure, I was alive for the, the inception of all of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, starting with number one, which I believe came out the year I was born, all the way through all of the sequels. But Scream will always have a special place in my heart because not only did it change the landscape of slasher movies forever, but it was also my seminal slasher movie growing up, where some of us grew up on Jason, grew up on Freddy, and I did. I grew up originally with Scream. And this movie still holds up. Yeah, the cell phone technology is dated. Yeah, some of the some of the dialogue that revolves around technology that was cutting edge in 1995 does not exactly age well as we're sitting here, you know, on our smartphones while watching this movie. We literally have a computer in our hands while we're watching a movie where one of the bits of dialogue is, "What are you doing with a cell phone there, Sonny?" It's hysterical to me how far we've come and like I said this movie came out in 1995 that makes this movie 23 years old so take that for what it's worth Scream is a masterpiece it will always be a masterpiece
Ghostface is an icon. He will now and forever always be an icon. And the sequels, as bad and as cheesy as they could get at times, and I'm talking about another one of them tomorrow, the sequels served their function as well. This movie did its job, and it did it well. It not only deconstructed, mocked, and sent up the slasher and ultimately horror movies in general, but it also offered the antidote by being one at the same time. This movie was incredible, and if you have not watched Scream, go to the freaking video store and watch Scream. Oh, what the hell am I talking about? We live in a world of streaming. Stream the shit. So that's going to take us out of today. Scream. Scream, scream, scream. I scream, you scream. We're all screaming for, you know, ghosty face. Hit that like button down there below. Make sure you guys are dropping some comments, some sweet, sweet comments. I love reading those things, and I appreciate all the love you guys have been sending my way. This has been one of the funnest Octobers of my entire life, but also one of the most hardworking Octobers of my entire life. And I am so thankful for you guys for taking this ride with me. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Probably still dressed as this, because I'm going to choose one of the Scream sequels to watch. Which one will it be? Two, three, four. Tune in tomorrow to find out. Bye. Not the right knife, but... Yeah.